Welcome back to the channel again. This is Ethan from Cool Trading, and uh, today we're gonna deassemble a, a remote controller from uh, Bang & Olsen. It's a Beolink 7000. As you can see, it's, uh, it's damaged. Uh, the front glass is uh, fully broken, and um, I just purchased it because I'm gonna deassemble, and uh, also uh, one of my customers need the the main board and uh, yeah stay tuned and uh, welcome to the back to the channel again so uh, this is the Beolink 7000 from Bang & Olufsen this, this is the remote controller and uh, this is the version I think it's this is the uh, latest version is uh, 3.1 with the RDS and um, Bang & Olufsen has made three versions of this and uh, I think the first version is 1.4 and second one is 2.1 and this is the 3.1 and uh, the 3.1 and the second version has a two-way system so uh, yes I think I'm gonna start with I think I will start to remove the, the glass first and uh, yeah and also it's full of functional, I just tested with the table charger and the table charger has also got some damages here so uh, yeah, let's continue always safety first and uh, let's try to remove the front glass I've, I think I have the deassembled with this I have, I think I deassembled uh, three or two uh, Beolink 7000 from Bang & Olsen but uh, yeah this one is, was a really good price I bought it from uh, Germany and shout out to him and, uh, that glass here Just need to be very careful now this one stopped uh, here we go. I think I need to leave the leave this. Maybe I can pull it up. No, it would be very good if I can if I could remove it. No, I think I need to remove this top. Anyway, let's try to. Flip it and remove the uh, screws. So uh, to access the the battery, the battery is here. We're gonna take this that out, and also we need to remove the the small uh, plastic dots. Behind the dots, there's uh, uh, the screws. So I'm gonna take my. You can uh, just use a thin uh, screwdriver, or thin. I think it's the smallest chalk screwdriver. So we're gonna take all the dots out. Just pulling it out like that. Yeah, the building 7000 was very expensive and was also a very good looking uh, remote controller by Bang & Olufsen has some uh, very good features and has this operized motor here when you press it when these two buttons activate when you put it down it will come right up so uh, yeah So we're gonna continue by removing the first we need to remove the the battery compartment. not made by Bang & Olufsen so yeah I think we're gonna just leave it there and yeah I think we're gonna just leave it uh, no let's just put it 
also has a fingerprint or pressure recognition for the Beowulf Link 7000. When you press, press here, the Beowulf Link 7000 will activate. So, as you can see here, so we need to remove, um, so the battery is connected to the board here, we need to remove this one first, tape, also as you can see here there's the, the, the gearing motor for the, the stand up rise when those two buttons are activated right here, and the buttons is here. So um, yeah, let's try to remove, uh, I think we need to cut it up here, oh it's wired. So, uh, it takes forever. Let me see this up. Put here and take it out. And this wiring is going to the main board, I think. And this wiring is stuck. to the main board and what can we do here nothing too much but uh, let's try to remove the gear motor so also my last video was uh, was about a bo5 uh, and the second video <laughs> is the remote controller again from Bang Olufsen and yeah I like the remote controllers here we go the gearing system and the belts and we need to remove the, this one too so you can see also here the, the gearing for the rise position and we also need to remove motor can we move that no this is going under me and let's try to just leave it like that and you, you can also find the version of the building 7000 here the rise position and you can find the the uh, serial number type number and the ver uh, version number and sometimes you can also find the version number uh, inside the chassis so we're gonna leave it like that and just continue to remove screws Challenging sometimes to to move the part from the Bang and Olufsen products, so they built pretty well. So uh, and this is also stuffed. And we also got damage damages right here. But part what I know, I just tested it. The screen is fully functional, and the main board. That's the important one. I think we need to uh, push it right here, maybe. No, I can't remember how to remove that. But I'm gonna get caught. 
cut there you go there you go this is the front part uh, here you can also see the the infrared uh, uh, connections so remove the glass panel by removing the screws The display part with the numbers and connections and this is the keyboard and I think I need to move so let's try to uh, disconnect the display part and uh, this is play part with the the signal the numbers and all the electronic transistors and the flex board and I'm gonna put them right here and uh, we're gonna also disconnect the battery and this is the cheap one self-made custom-made battery and you also can uh, can disconnect I think you can just pull no you can disconnect the the motor the game motor so and you can disconnect the charger for the battery and we can disconnect the ground and also we're gonna remove the flex cable I think you can remove it it's just glued there you go and disconnect there you go this is the plate Touch sensor for activating the uh, Buelink 7000. I'm gonna put it right here. So next step is to remove the the main board. I just grab a screwdriver, flat screwdriver. And I hope you can remove it. Yes. So yeah. My channel is very new and it's a niche, niche, I don't know what it's called in English, but it's very, very niche price at deassembled, uh, deassembling, it's mostly will be Bang & Olufsen products, and, uh, and here we go, so uh, I think in the, in the future I will be deassembling new, newer products, but uh, Right now, I'm uh, going through all the vintage products. So uh, this is the white uh, plastic for, uh, I think, for not damaging the, the keyboard tabs. You can see here, one of the two tabs is, uh, this is the damage. So we're gonna 
remove the, the flex cable. Here is the, the part for the keyboard. Next step is to remove the, the main board. There's one screw here and one screw to the ground. Also, what I mentioned before, uh, likely all the chassis uh, Bang & Olufsen, all the products Bang & Olufsen um, have made, you can always find the serial number in the chassis. You can find the serial number and software version and the type number and here's the gearing motion it's like that so um, yeah let's try to remove uh, this one and here is the main board that was the purpose of uh, the purchasing, purchasing the other uh, the, the building 7000 and yeah, let's try to continue to remove removing all the stuff, all the parts. Let's try to remove the, the gearing part. This is the battery holder compartment and here we go. The gearing part and aluminium I think or alloy there we go. yes so let's try to clean all this mess up so you can see here there's 3.1 the version number and the keyboard and uh, here's the plastic board for, uh, plastic part for the key the keyboard you need to you can see Need to you need to attach like that, and uh, this board is for this the sensor and for to activate the the Deolink seven thousand, and the, those cables this these two these two cables go into the battery, and these two is going to the for the motor, and this one is going to the I think this was the, to the can even remember that. I think it's going to the display part. Yeah, it's got right here. And yeah, this display part and the gearing motor and the the gearing, the battery and the top cover. And uh, the clamp, the upright position clamp, and this go up and down. And the big chassis, where the main board is, with the serial number and the, the type number, and the battery compartment, battery holder. And the last one will be, I think, is also need to be with the. The gearing system. So yeah, this was the deassembling the Bang and Olufsen Building Seven Thousand, a remote controller. It was pretty easy, not uh, not too difficult to remove all the parts. So yeah, I hope you enjoy and uh, 
um, yeah enjoy the video and I hope that the video can help you to repair and order some parts from me and yeah see you next time have a nice day